Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today for this episode we're gonna give the first styling to this beautiful uh, European elm, Ulmus minor. Especially we're gonna concentrate uh, to the deadwood on the tree. The deadwood on the cedar tree is very particular, so follow this episode and you'll discover everything. Bonsai Dream Bonsai Dream This tree was collected uh, just uh, a year ago in uh, winter 2019 in south of Italy and uh, it has very good character and uh, in the place uh, where this tree grows uh, they get stepped uh, by cows and uh, eaten by sheep. That's the reason why they develop uh, such uh, interesting uh, trunks. You can uh, see especially on this one, uh, basically we have uh, three interesting uh, trunks connected uh, at uh, the base with uh, very good character and we have this area of dead wood when the tree was uh, chopped and was already dead uh, when it was collected. Other dead wood area are present on the tree. So the first uh, thing we start doing uh, is uh, selecting uh, the branches that uh, we will keep uh, to create uh, the basic structure on uh, the first uh, styling and uh, wiring. We don't want uh, too many branches uh, coming uh, from the same uh, spots. That's the reason why we keep uh, for now just uh, a fair amount to start uh, creating some uh, lines. This type uh, of selection is very important uh, to build uh, the correct bones uh, of uh, this tree and then uh, we will let the tree develop uh, and in time uh, we can do more selection and in the also we want uh, to start giving a little bit of movement uh, to the branches uh, with uh, some wire. Deadwood is uh, always an interesting subject for the cedar tree. Most of the time uh, we find interesting the cedars with a uh, hollow deadwood because uh, the fibers of uh, the trunk uh, are very soft. So when some part uh, start dying back, uh, they normally get hollow. That's the reason why I want to start uh, hollowing completely this uh, piece of that wood we have uh, on top of the tree. So I use a drill uh, and I start uh, removing the inner part uh, of the dead wood. This will also help me to keep uh, that part uh, for a long time. As uh, an old uh, piece of dead wood, I think uh, this part, uh, you know, hollows up uh, naturally and I work uh, with uh, my tools, uh, my electrical carving tool, uh, to get uh, the best uh, out uh, from this piece. So with the help uh, of Paolo, we remove uh, the inner wood to create a completely hollow part in this area. Plus, uh, I will start marking for him some lines uh, to follow I get this uh, area that is still heavy at the moment, uh, a little bit nicer and more natural, so you can follow this uh, sign uh, with uh, a uh, little carving tools. Uh, generally, we use uh, 
a little dremel, as you can see now, so we can smooth uh, some of the angle, get uh, them uh, nice and round, and uh, we can also remove uh, a part uh, of uh, the dead wood uh, to create uh, even more drama on this part. It's interesting uh, to use uh, all the tools uh, in the correct way so we can get uh, the best uh, and natural uh, aesthetical look uh, at this part. Uh, we are trying uh, to mimic uh, nature. So we also give some work uh, on the hollow parts uh, we have at the base of the tree. So every part uh, of that wood is uh, linked uh, together with the same uh, aesthetic. We use the Dremel also to open up some parts that were still alive and create some open parts at the base of the tree and we use the cut paste to follow all the new areas that we open some shari so they can create the callum around those areas and get uh, much better along the time. The tree is very strong, so it will reheal uh, faster and will create uh, a natural uh, look uh, around uh, these uh, dead wood uh, areas. This is very important for the protection of the tree. So this uh, step uh, on the dead wood is done and we can move uh, at the next. Now we have to solve uh, the problem uh, of the gap uh, between uh, the two trunks. Uh, we want that to look like a single trunk. So using a black uh, interesting smooth rock, uh, we hammer it uh, between the two trunks. Uh, and uh, doing that, uh, we also scratch the cambium. So the cambium will start uh, revealing uh, over and include uh, the rock uh, on the design of the trunk. So aesthetically, the tree will look uh, all together and will be much, much better. We can act uh, like uh, during the growing part of the tree, the tree add the rock to the trunk and develop uh, just uh, keeping it uh, all together. Now Paolo will start uh, with the wiring. So start from the lower part uh, of the branches, you will get everything nice and wired before the final setting. We used the aluminum wire to wire everything. Now I can start from the lower branches open them up, creating uh, interesting uh, wavy lines, uh, typical of uh, deciduous trees. These waves uh, have to move uh, right and left, but also up and down to create a natural movement. So I work on the right area first, uh, and then I move to the left area, and uh, at the end uh, I will uh, also work uh, at the apex. While uh, I set the branches, uh, having the idea of uh, more or less the final silhouette. I want also to prune some of them. So pruning, I will give the tree the message now that is winter, that in spring it has to grow nice and strong. And so the lines can set the position in the shortest time possible. I keep working my way up, positioning, looking at the silhouette and pruning the lines that are too long, thinking how I like to be the final shape of the tree.
you can see how I kept uh, almost a 30% uh, extra branches from what will be the future of the tree. But I want to see which one will really grow stronger to create a solid uh, structure. And in the future, I will uh, get rid uh, of uh, the ones that are too much. Also, you can notice uh, how I like to set the ramification uh, going up uh, as naturally happen for a deciduous. This is very important to not give uh, a coniferous look uh, to our deciduous uh, tree. And here we are in early summer after a very good uh, spring on full flash for this uh, elm. Now it's time to defoliate the tree to get the tree pushing again and create more thickness on the lower branch while we can do some more selection in the apical area unwire the tree so we don't risk any scar on the new branching and what I'm gonna do also after this session I wanna repot the tree in a slightly bigger pot with good soil, good fertilizer to get another great flash so I can keep maturing the structure of this tree. Let's do it! And now that the tree is defoliated, we're gonna reselect some of the branches. I left uh, uh, some more branches that needed, uh, especially in the upper part, so I will reselect uh, some of the uh, structural lines. As you can see, we left uh, some of the outside leaves uh, in the lower part, so we can uh, keep developing the taper of the lower branches while I will be pruning the top to reduce the strength and then rebalance everything going out with the lower branches. Now the guys uh, are cleaning uh, all uh, the unnecessary little branches that develop from the trunk uh, after the first tiling or eventually also some little branches that died uh, because uh, other ones uh, took power. We have to do this cleaning uh, and then uh, we can do a little bit more selection of uh, the structural lines. From all the branches that uh, I left uh, originally, I will just uh, reselect uh, some of them, remove uh, the weaker one and the ones uh, too close together, and just uh, leave uh, some of the lines. Now they can uh, keep developing and produce uh, good structure, but uh, I have uh, to do this selection because I don't want uh, too many branches uh, coming from uh, the same spots and now I know which uh, original branches uh, are strong enough uh, to develop uh, into structure. Now I reselected the branches, especially in the upper part. I have uh, just the lines uh, I want and uh, the lower branches will be let free to grow for the rest of the season and in winter I will check the thickness of the development and eventually prune some of them a little bit back again. In the meantime also the apex, apex will 
grow and uh, I will control the strength uh, and also at the end of the season I will recheck again to keep uh, developing a good uh, foliage. From this uh, moment uh, over I will never rewire the tree again. The wire is only for the first tiling to develop branches in the direction I want and now it will be only clip and grow. Now the next step will be taking the tree out of the original container and put it in a slightly bigger pot to have more room for the roots to develop and keep developing the good foliage. Now that uh, the tree is out of the pot, uh, we just want to refurbish uh, a little bit uh, the root ball. As you can see, the root ball is pretty solid uh, in roots. It's no problem to slip the pot uh, in this uh, part of the ear. The important after this operation of defoliation and repot uh, is to keep uh, the tree in the shade for the next month until the new foliage is out and then we can expose the tree again to the direct sunlight. So now we clean very well the base. You have to consider that this originally is like a big cutting, so the tree was just chopped so off from the ground and planted. You can see how many roots the tree developed. So we slightly bring the soil level down to start showing the first roots and start creating a nice base. What I want to do now for the slip pot, I will mix a part of fertilizer, Silum Plus, already with my soil mix. So when the tree will start developing new roots in the new soil, it will find already good fertilizer and will keep shooting out nice and strong. the repotting the tree now can uh, keep developing so we are just six months after the first tiling we are in the end of June and now the tree can keep growing strong in the new pot with a lot of new soil to develop good fertilizing and it can keep developing the structure. The first step on a deciduous is very very important. We want to build the best structure possible and then we can create volumes but the structure is the point for this year and probably also next year. Thank you so much for following this episode. See you at the next. Hello guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I want to let you know that from the 2nd of August to the 11th of August of this year, this summer, I will be leading an intensive class here in my place in Feltre. So if you want to know more about this beautiful experience and come here and do bonsai with me, send me an email to this address and I will give you all the information. Thank you. Bonsai Dream